Welcome to Learning with Mo. Well, in this tutorial, we'll learn how we can merge different worksheets into one using XLOOKUP. Uh, in order to do that, we have a four-step process. We'll go ahead and insert the columns of interest. We'll go ahead and insert our XLOOKUP. We'll refer to the tables that we want to connect by name. And we'll go ahead and autofill the columns with all the data. Now, here's our Excel file. So we can see we have quite a bit of data in here. We have the sale ID, the date of the, of the transaction. We have the sales rep as well, and the segment, product ID, all the way over to the net profit. Well, it's very common to have our data in separate places. So for example, on this worksheet tab, here's our list of products. And on this worksheet tab, here are our sales reps as well. So if you wanted to maybe create a pivot table and generate some more comprehensive reports, we may want to go ahead and include something like the actual name of the product as opposed to just the product ID. We also maybe want to go ahead and insert the country based on the actual sales rep. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and insert a column here. So here's our tasks. We're going to get the country from the sales rep table based on the sales rep. So I'll insert a column here, and this will be for the country. And I also want to insert another column. This will be for the actual name of the product. So I'll insert a product here, insert a column here rather. And this will be for the actual product. So good to go. So we have our two columns of interest that we've inserted. Now the next thing for us to do is to insert our XLOOKUP statement, and then we'll go ahead and answer all of the parameters here as well. So remember for the first one, we want to return the name of the country based on the sales rep. So for our first one here, this is a table. So we just, we only need to write the XLOOKUP statement on our first record here. It's going to automatically fill down the rest of the data for us. So we'll be good to go. So for this one, our input is going to be based on the sales rep. So we'll take this sales rep. We're going to go ahead and search the sales rep table and return the corresponding country. So I'll go ahead and insert my XLOOKUP statement here. I'll click on insert function. There's my X lookup. So my lookup value is going to be my first sales rep, which is B common. Now my lookup array, I could do this. I could go to the sales rep table. This will work as well. This will insert the sheet name for us. Well, I want to look up the sales rep from this table. Notice how it's automatically populating the actual name of the table and the name of the column that I'm searching for. So what I can do, instead of navigating to that worksheet, I can also type the name of the, the table here. And in brackets, I want to return the actual country. So there is the country column. And I'm good to go. We can see it's already returning Germany for us. So I'm good to go. I'll go ahead and press OK. And there you go. So it automatically populates all of the countries based on the match and the sales rep column. So one down, one to go. We need to go ahead and return the product based on the product ID. This time, let's take a look at the products table. We can see that the name of, the, of this table here is called products. So we can go ahead and refer to the name of the table and then the name of the column. So this time, we, we will not even need to navigate to the actual products worksheet tab. So I'll go back to financials here and I'll click on my first product here for the first row. I'll go ahead and insert my X lookup here again. So this time it's actually based on the product ID. Where can I find those IDs? Well, it's going to be the products table. And I want the product ID. There we 
we go. And then we want the return array. So same thing, name of the table, and in brackets, I want the actual product. And there we go. So it's going to pull in the product for me, and I'm good to go. I'll go ahead and press OK, and there you go. So that's how we can, even though the data set that we're merging is on a different worksheet, the beauty of XLOOKUP is that we can merge the data from different worksheet tabs. As a matter of fact, in the next tutorial, we'll see how we can merge data from other Excel files using XLOOKUP into a single file here as well. Well, now we're good to go. We have a lot of columns here that we can analyze data based on. Date, sales rep, country, segment, product name, and of course, our profit as well. Good to go.